This is our Cave Creek Pet Palace. This is how we hammock camp with the dog. Welcome back guys and gals and welcome if you guys are new. This is Maddie Outdoors. I am Maddie. My channel is all about hiking and backpacking. I'm into hammock camping and I'm Canadian so I go to some wicked places in the Canadian Rockies. If that interests you, consider clicking on that subscribe button. Today we are talking about my Cave Creek Pet Palace. This is what I've decided to go with as my solution for hammock camping with my dogs. So inside this stuff sack is a fully integrated bug net and bathtub floor system for my hammock. What we're going to do, we're going to get this thing set up, then we're going to take a look at it. We'll go over all the specs, all the dimensions, all the weights and everything. But yeah, let's get this thing out of the stuff sack and get it set up. Setup on this is actually ridiculously simple. All you do, first thing, pull it out of the stuff sack is you just put my stuff sack inside the hammock. So identify the bathtub floor. It's different than the no seam bug netting. That is pretty simple. And find the door. So the door is going to be the giant U-shaped zipper. Now what you want to do is figure out which side of your hammock you want the door to go on. This is the head end of my hammock. That's the foot end of my hammock. I want the door to be on this side. So what I'm going to do is lay this on the ground just like that. Next thing you want to identify is you will find the ridge line of the hammock which I find is pretty easy because they've got a nice little Cave Creek Hammocks logo on here. So this is the ridge line of the Pet Palace itself. Coming off of the ridge line you will see these little sleeves. This is where the end of your hammock actually feeds into. So now that you've located that, you want to go back to the door, find the zipper, it splits in the middle, and you're going to open the door all the way on both sides. Put the foot into my hammock. So what I'm going to do is grab the end of the pet palace where I've got the door. I'm going to reach my hand inside through the door, and I'm going to put it through that little sleeve. And you'll notice at the end of that sleeve, you've got a little cord and a toggle explain that in a second so what you do as well what I find is you bunch up the fabric here and you get a little hole so this is coming through the door and out that little sleeve at the end and this is where having the ability to quick detach your hammock suspension really comes into effect here so on my field setup for my hammock I've got whoopee slings with uh, whoopee hooks from Dutchware here at home I've just got toggles and a multi-buckle. Well, a multi-buckle and my continuous loop. So you quick detach there, feed your continuous loop through the door and comes out through that channel. Hook it back up onto your suspension. And then what you wanna do is cinch that cord up with the toggle up against your continuous loop. So what that does, that's going to stop bugs from getting in through the opening here against your hammock. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the head end of my hammock. We're going to hook that end up, head end of my hammock. I'm going to take Pet Palace, pull it down along my hammock. Same thing, I'm going to go in through the door, through that sleeve, bunch up that fabric, make a little hole. Connect at multi buckle. Feed my hammock through. So now my hammock is inside the pet palace. Going to reattach on the multi buckle here. I get the door zip back up. We've got the hammock inside the pet palace. So the pet palace right now is suspended by the hammock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our four tent stakes, stake out the bathtub floor. At each of the four corners on the pet palace, you've got these little grill grain tabs. What you do, put your stake in there, pretty straightforward. Well, Todd, I've got the other three already staked out. And that does it for the bathtub floor. You've got the sleeve here that your hammock feeds through on the pet palace. And then above that, you'll see you've got an actual ridge line. 
So this will actually lift the pet palace up even more. So what they give you is you get a little tab coming off the end here and you can decide what you want to do to attach that. So what I've done is I've just ran a piece of zing it off of either side and I've tied a little taut line hitch so that I can adjust the tension on this. So on my tarp, I've got two little titanium carabiners that go off of my D-rings. So what I'll do is I'll just clip this onto those. So because I don't have my tarp up here, I'm just gonna hook these up and simulate it and then I'll back the camera off and I'll show you guys how tightening and loosening up the ridge line works. The ridge line is clipped on on either side. Let's tighten up those knots, show you how it lifts up. That makes a huge difference. If you can see at the bottom here, I'll angle the camera down. If you see at the bottom there, it totally lifts up the bathtub floor. So that's what helps give you your sidewalls on the bathtub floor there, is attaching those two pieces on the ridge line. It makes a world of difference having, the, having those lines pulled taut off the edge of your ridge line. I did originally try shock cord, and I found shock cord just the flex in the line this would just end up sagging. It's just too much weight. There is a, quite a bit of weight on the from the bug netting here. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. So I found using two solid lines to the zing it worked really well, not having any stretch. Um, pulls nice and taut for the ridge line. Seems to work out really well. Now one thing I did have added to mine was I had the tie outs added on the front and back. I'll go to a side view and I'll show you guys how much of a difference having the tie outs actually makes. They're totally worth it backside view of the pet palace the pullouts are not utilized but then on the front side they are utilized and it just pulls that netting off so when you're actually inside you don't have the netting slapping up against your face so the pullouts are totally worth using um, I usually don't stake the pullouts out right to the ground what I'll usually do is I'll actually take the the tie out and I'll loop it down and I'll tie it to the d-ring on the bottom of my tarp but because I don't have my tarp up, that's why I've got these things staked out to the ground. Or I'll also like run that down and tie it out to vegetation or whatever. Or sometimes I will stake them out to the ground, but I usually tie it off to my tarp. That seems to be what's working best for me. Pass up, we'll do a little walk around. So everything is sewn here. There's no zippers on the ends. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get an end entry. So you'd have a zipper here on the end. I believe that's an extra but I just went with the normal side entry. Got the pullouts done on both sides. Give you a nice side view here. You can kind of see how much it opens up. And then on the front, you've got the huge U-shaped door that goes all the way to the top, which is nice. You can flip it all the way over and tons of room inside. So. The base dimensions on this one, it is 60 inches long, 48 inches wide, and an 8 inch high bathtub floor. They do have an XL version that is 84 inches long, and the same 48 inches wide, and the same 8 inches high. I went with the standard version just because I don't plan on having any person sleeping underneath me, so I figured the 60 inch length was more than enough room for the dog's pad and my gear to go on the side. As you can see, plenty of room inside the pet palace for the pups. Um, this is basically where Wanda sleeps. Spends all, spends her nights basically. She just curls up right underneath me. She's got plenty of room. Uh, yeah, this thing is awesome. Let's uh, let's bring you guys inside and kind of show you guys what it's like being inside this thing. We'll take a closer look. So here's look. a view you guys may have seen a few times if you've seen any of my trip videos. This kind of gives you an idea of what we're dealing with for room inside here. Take a look at the details here. Made in USA tag. And I will say like everything on here is absolutely amazing quality. I mean the stitching and everything is top notch. Let's turn around here. This is just from Wanda's footprint stepping inside, but um, I mean we've we've ridden out storms in this thing. The bathtub floor definitely holds up. 
Uh, the bathtub floor is a 2.2 hex material and then it's a 0 0.9 no seam bug netting. You can kind of see you get for room here with the, the pullouts, how they kind of really open up on the inside. Really nice. Yeah, super happy with this thing. This thing is wicked. So yeah, this is uh, this is what we deal with for room inside. It's not too bad, eh, Wanda? This is, guys and gals, our Cave Creek Pet Palace. This is what Wanda and I have been rocking all summer for the hammock camping trips that you guys have been seeing popping up in the cards here. Um, yeah, we've been using this thing a ton. It has worked out. It's been everything we were hoping it was going to be. Um, Cape Creek was great to deal with. Rick, thank you so much, man, for all the, the help you were getting this thing built and getting it shipped up to us. Uh, yeah, we we could not be happier with this. Um, so yeah, if, uh, if you guys have any questions for me or for Wanda, please drop us questions down below. We'd love to help you guys out. Uh, we'll put links to Cave Creek down below as well. Please check them out. They make some great quality stuff. So, yeah, that's uh, that's it for us today, guys. That's our Cave Creek Pet Palace. This is Wanda. As always, I am Maddie. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you guys on the next one. Hey, baby girl.